what I have here is an iPad Wi-Fi model. It is jailbroken. You can see Cydia there. Um, some other cool apps, but what we're demoing here is the wireless syncing with the computer. I just have a previous gen MacBook Pro. And we're going to launch iTunes. And if you notice, we have a little icon for a program called Wi-Fi Sync. It's synced with the iPad over Wi-Fi so it knows what it is already and after a little while it'll just sync. There's no tricks or anything like that going on. It's actually paired. There's no cable. So let's check this out real quick. Let's see what I want to put on the iPad. Let's put let's put some Gucci Man on there. So I grab the album, drag it to the iPad, and it starts to sync. No cables. It's wirelessly syncing with the uh, MacBook. It's pretty cool because I don't have to go grab it off of the table when it's charging if I want to send music or movies to it. Um, and it's just cool because Apple doesn't intend for it to be used in that way and it makes it all much cooler if you can do what they don't want you to do. So It is a little bit slower than uh, using a, the USB cable but like I said if I'm just chilling in the bed or I'm chilling in another room in the house and the iPad's charging I can just drop some music and movies and stuff to it pretty quickly so I don't really worry about that and yeah you can just plug it in directly and it'll link up you know just like it does out of the box and the app is currently available for both um, well any iDevice including the iPhone iPod touch um, in both 3G and Wi-Fi models of the iPad. Uh, pretty cool stuff. It's not really supported by the iPad yet, but you can find some hacked uh, deb files and get it loaded up through um, SSH protocols. Get it FTP'd over and then uh, launch it that way. So uh, if you have any questions, just shoot me a comment or an email or something. And there we go. Yeah.